I'm a national from Chad, but I'm also a U.S. citizen. I thank God for this country who gave me a lot, like my fellow uh, Chadians who are also U.S. citizens. But we're telling you that you are wrong. You are wrong. This great nation of known as the United States, well, is well respected around the world for preserving human rights. But today, what is happening in Chad? doesn't happen anywhere in the world. Just on October the 20th, Chadian people came out to voice their concern about how our country manage, is managed, like we are coming out right here. Nobody, the police came out and talked to us. We explained why we are here and they let us alone. You cannot do that on my country. And on just on October 20, uh, October 20th, 2022, the Chadian people came out because they say no to the dynastic devolution of power. The transition that has been run by Kaka and the military junta. You know why? They lie to the African people. First of all, it was a coup, a real coup, bloody coup, which led to the assassination of the former president, Idris Deby which the circumstances are not clarified up to today. Okay, so the African Union say, well, we know because of, of the security issues, we're gonna give them a chance. The Chadian people say, okay, we're gonna give them also a benefit from that. They have to run the transition for 18 months. Mm -hmm. Up to 18 months, they shouldn't extend 18 months. And then when the true national dialogue is held, the military junta, including Kaka Debi, should not be competing in future elections. But you know what they did? They did go to the opposite side of the, the two con ma major conditions that was posed on the table by the African Union. So this is we, this can be considered a second coup. Exactly. A second coup. Exactly. In, instead of 18 months, Kaka will be ruling this stupid transition for 24 months. And he, uh, he has uh, all the right. He will be also competing in future elections. So what kind of democracy you, Biden, are selling to the world? It will call in Africans here today to the summit, which I'm allowed to call it a summit of shame, exactly. of discrimination, of injustice. Because why? While great leaders like Asimi Goita, the leader, Ibrahim Traore from Burkina Faso, Guinea, and the Sudan are excluded. You are invited here, the most brutal dictators of the world, because this, this young guy is an assassin. He massacred about more than 200 Chadians who came out to speak, to voice their concern uh, peacefully about how their, the, our country, our our dear country is managed. We have about, we are talking today about more than 2,000 people abducted. We call, we're talking about uh, uh, enforced disappearance. We have, oh my God. Up to today, since October the 20th, we have mothers who don't know where their children are. Some are, have been deported, ab ab abducted, deported to the northern part of the country, while some are missing. And every day, Dr. Alain, Biden listened to this. Every day, we collected bodies of Chadians from the local local rivers. Exactly. It's not acceptable. That's why we are here in this call to voice our concern. Mm. But uh, again, we see that this is a pure hypocrisy. This is a summit of exclusion, of discrimination, and of injustice. Excellent. Thank you, thank you very much, brother. I think uh, the message is, uh, is well uh, clear. I, we are going to cut just that portion and put it online so uh, Biden can see it. And again, thank you very much for everything you're doing for the country. We truly appreciate your effort. Our thanks goes to the team, to the entire team. So uh, let's stay in, in contact here. Uh, okay. We, you wanna come back again? Jump up. Okay. Yeah, jump up. Up. We will do that. We are we are waiting for the time. Okay. We'll continue and then we will come back to you.